March being Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. On our Bronson Health Chat this morning, we're going to share some information about colorectal cancer, what it is, who is most at risk, screening, and why it's important to detect and treat it as early as possible. Dr. Catherine Kelly is a Bronson physician at Bronson Colon and Rectal Surgery Specialists in Battle Creek and Kalamazoo and joins us for our conversation this morning on WKZO. Dr. Kelly, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to have you with us on the show. Let's start with the basics. What is colorectal cancer? Yeah, colorectal cancer is just an outgrowth of the lining of your colon, and usually it's unchecked. And so it has the potential of invading into the colon wall and going to other places of your body. How how serious is this uh, colon rectal cancers, and uh, how deadly could it possibly be? Colon cancer is fairly serious. Um, If we catch it early, it is survivable, and people do very well with it. But if it goes unchecked for too long, people can have a shorter time of survival. And that's why it's important to do uh, screening. Are there any particular individuals who are more at risk than others for getting colorectal cancer? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, quite a few individuals who are at increased risk. Those who have a diet high in red meat and low fiber, individuals who are more overweight, uh, individuals who smoke, and individuals who also have a family history of colorectal cancer are at increased risk of developing cancer. Dr. Catherine Kelly is with us from Bronson Colon and Rectal Surgery Specialists. We're talking about Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. And let's talk a little bit about the risk factors. What are the risk factors we can control and uh, which are out of our control, I guess? Yeah, I mean, the family history is definitely out of our control. uh, But things that are in our control are what we eat. So avoiding uh, diets high in red meat and then increasing the amount of fiber that we incorporate. And the best thing that we can do is talk to our primary care providers and ask them to do if they're ready to have a screening. So right now for average risk individuals, we start screening at the age of 50. And my recommendations is to perform a colonoscopy because that way we can see the inside of their colon very well. So that's one of the major uh, ways you detect colorectal cancer? Correct. Yeah, we do a colonoscopy. And if Uh, they're an average risk person and we don't find anything. We usually do that every 10 years until they're 75. There's other things we can do to screen as well. If a colonoscopy is a major turnoff, uh, there are uh, stool study tests that we can do to screen for things that put them at a greater risk of having a polyp or cancer. Is there a certain age when we should be tested? And uh, you mentioned the frequency of testing. Yeah. Um, For average risk people, so those who don't have a family history of colon cancer, we start screening at age 50. Uh, Those who have symptoms, so if they have a change in their stool or if they have bleeding per rectum, usually our recommendations is to start screening when they present with those symptoms. So there are individuals who should be tested earlier or perhaps more frequently than others? Yes, correct. So finally, uh, what should someone do if they're concerned about colorectal cancer or uh, maybe have more questions about it? Yeah, absolutely. I would encourage them to talk with their primary care doctor and let them know about their concerns or any issues that they're having. And then they can, um, that physician can place a referral to our office at either uh, Kalamazoo or Battle Creek. And we can see the patient and discuss further options for screening. We've been talking about colorectal cancer. It is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. Information about it from Dr. Catherine Kelly, a Bronson physician at Bronson Colon and Rectal Surgery Specialist in Battle Creek and Kalamazoo on our Bronson Health Chat segment for this week. Dr. Kelly, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate the information this morning. Thank you. Take care. You as well. Kalamazoo Mornings with Ken Lanfear on Thursday on 590 and 106.9 FM WKZO.